Arthur Walker and you're watching the Football Spy Show. Yes, Football Spy with a difference today because we've got a couple of very special guests on the show. More about that later, but first it's transfer time. Now the word on the street is that Liverpool are also set to follow up with yet another move for the Blackpool midfielder Charlie Adam. Here's a guardian. The Tangerines managed to keep Adam back in January, but now they look to have plunged into the abyss, and that pretty much looks like that for them. Liverpool also in the hunt for the Birmingham defender Scott Dan, a very good player indeed. So Liverpool fans, well, all fans really, I'm asking two questions today. Firstly, what do you think of the new, young, largely British side that's being put together by Kenny Dalglish up at Anfield? And secondly, are Liverpool playing, paying too much for British players. I'm a Liverpool fan, so I'm a bit biased in their favour. So I want to know what you think. We hammered Manchester City a couple of seasons ago and last season when they continually paid over the odds for players. Is it suddenly OK for Liverpool? Tweet me, mail me, post on YouTube or at the Daily Mirror. The addresses are all on the screen. Fulham have got a new manager, Martin Yell confirmed in the job just after we recorded yesterday's video. The word on the street is that he's keen on Robbie Keane from his old club Spurs. They can't give him away. Even more interesting though, the Telegraph say that Spurs have made a £10 million bid for the Fulham striker Moussa Dembele. He's not for me, but apparently Spurs like him a great deal and they made their move before Yell arrived this week. In our own paper, the Daily Mail, Birmingham, Sebastian Larson's now a free agent. He's set to turn down interest from Aston Villa, Blackburn and Newcastle to sign for Sunderland. The Sun say that the West Ham boss Sam Allardyce is about to kick off his rebuilding job with moves for the Blackpool striker DJ Campbell and the Newcastle midfielder Kevin Nolan. Contract talks for Nolan broken down while Campbell hit 13 goals this season just gone and he's got a release clause in his contract in the event of relegation. They'd both be good signings for West Ham. Now, yesterday we visited the Mars and FA sponsored Just Play initiative, which encourages people of all ages to start playing football. While we were there, we bumped into Arsenal's Theo Walcott. Lots of you asking about Alex Oxlade Chamberlain at Southampton. So we took the chance to see what Walcott thought of him and whether he thinks that Arsenal will be signing him. Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a bit in the dark as well. I've seen glimpses of what he can do. And, uh, you know, it's at any level, it's very difficult, and especially at the age he is. Um, he's shown you know, great potential. But I think uh, the best thing is just to, you know, not, not to get on his, on his head straight away, let him just relax, enjoy himself. You know, hopefully we'll see a bit more of him in you know, years to come. And, but, you know, there's another great potential there. I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully. Do you know it? Um, well, I actually, uh, you know, his, his dad, Mark, uh, he used to be one of my coaches. And um, I remember actually Alex being there. He was only like seven, I think. And he was so small, he always wanted to have a, have a ball with him. And, uh, yeah, he shot right up. And, um, you know, he's showing he's very similar to players like me. And uh, I think you're starting to compare him to me like that. Um, which is a nice thing. But he wants to be his own player, and I'm, I'm sure he will be. Theo Walcott there, who I spoke to yesterday. Time for your messages. And P. Mick P. has pulled me up on missing out on a few transfers. I obviously do apologise for that. The problem is, if we got them all in, uh, if we got all the stuff on the show that we wanted to do, we'd never get it out because we would take too long. But just to answer your point, Mick, thanks for flagging up Juan Mata, uh, because you're absolutely right. Liverpool had a very long look at him. He's 23, he's a winger. He's been an ever-present for Valencia over the past two seasons, with 17 goals in a total of 68 games to help his club into the Champions League. I think, however, Liverpool are going to try to buy British where possible and if they can do a deal for Downing at Aston Villa, they will. Also, Wigan's Charles and Zogbia might be on his way uh, to Anfield as he's available for £9 million and we all know about the premium on English players at the moment. David Clark, Chelsea, the striker, Romelu Lukaku at Anderlecht is indeed still interesting Chelsea. To Spencer Mike, yes, I do think Manchester United squad overhaul is necessary. They need more quality in the midfield and up front. Uh, we'll do one more. To Faith on Twitter, thanks for the information you sent to me regarding Liverpool moving in for the Brazilian keeper, Doni. That's now public knowledge. And thanks to all of you for sending us nice messages. We do appreciate them. Take you around planet football for some European transfer talk. 
Barcelona have beaten Manchester United and Chelsea to the signing of the Udinese forward Alexis Sanchez. The Chilean newspaper La Tercera is quoting Franco Soldati, the president of Udinese, basically telling United and Chelsea to forget it. Soldati has said, as we said to the player's agent, Alexis already has an agreement with Barcelona for €3 million Euros per season. The French paper Le Keep say that Marseille have agreed a deal to sign the midfielder Morgan Amalfitano from Lorient. He's 26, he's a midfielder, he moves on a free transfer. The German daily kicker revealed that Schalke looking at a possible move for the veteran goalkeeper Jens Lehmann after his recent spell at Arsenal. And in Italy, the publication Tutto Sport are saying that uh, Juventus keen on Roma's Mirko Vucinic, but they're not prepared to allow the striker Vincenzo Iaquinta to be part of the deal. Back to the Premier League and we talked on the show yesterday about a story in the Star about Sunderland looking to use the money they get from selling Jordan Henderson on Peter Crouch at Spurs. Uh, well, we caught up with Crouch at the Just Play event yesterday and so we asked him about his future. Um, I, you know, I don't know to be honest. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy where I am and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing for Tottenham for the, for the years I have. We had a, had a great season the last two years, really. And some great memories, you know, of this season, obviously the Milan games. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying where I am. And, uh, you know, until I'm told anything else, then, you know, of course, I'll remain where I am. Do, do you footballers? Peter Crouch, who I spoke to yesterday. Now, more transfer news for you. And in the sun, Shakhtar the next ready to do business with Arsenal over the winger come striker William. Arsene Wenger been monitoring the Brazilian midfielder for some time. He's 22. Shakhtar ready to take De Nilsson in part exchange plus uh, £4 million, say the sun. We'll keep you posted on that one. Sky Sports reporting that Sevilla have warned Spurs and Liverpool off the talented 22-year-old Argentina winger Diego Perotti. I don't think they need to bother. I think Liverpool are in for Stuart Downing. Uh, the Daily Mail said that Stoke and QPR are considering a move for the Newcastle forward Niall Ranger. He's been told that he can leave St James's Park for the right price. Sky Sports say that Man City set to make a £17 million move for the Bolton defender Gary Cahill. That could be bad news for Arsenal fans who wanted new defender with Phil Jones going to either United or Liverpool. The Telegraph say that Ipswich want the card of striker Michael Chopra. Lots of uh, papers saying that Liverpool are targeting the Ipswich forward Connor Wickham, although we understand here at the Football Spy office that he is going to Tottenham. Now to round off, let's get through a few more of your messages. We asked you the other day who you'd like your club to sign. Kenneth Bruce is in Jamaica. He says here, my club signs Manchester City. I'd love to see us sign Edison Cavani from Napoli and the midfielder Kasuki Honda from Japan. I think uh, Kasuki Honda's going uh, elsewhere in Europe. We'll let you know later this week here on the Football Spy Show. Uh, we're, also, we're also trying to find out the identity of the mystery striker signed by Arsenal. Quinlan Hill is in Switzerland. He says here, I think the new striker Arsenal in negotiation with is Jovino. The strikers I've heard Arsen Wenger is interested in are also Karim Benzema at Real Madrid and indeed Jovino at Lille, but I doubt highly that Benzema will be leaving Madrid this summer. I'm not so sure. He could well be. Uh, Sondri Willenus, hope I got that name right, is in Norway. He's entered our big spender competition. We needed, uh, wait, we need to find out the three teams who will spend the most this summer. Sondri thinks it will be Chelsea first, Liverpool second, and United third, uh, which is a surprise for me. He's got no Manchester City in his top three. Keep your teams and your tweets and your transfer rumours and anything else that you'd like to add coming in. The Football Spy Show is back tomorrow. I'll see you next time.